the Muslims across the world. They are coming to know Jesus. Amen? Amen. So pray for them. Okay, we're going to go into the meat. Wacha tukaingie katika nyama. Swahili Bible. So today I'm going to focus on one word. Yeye anaenda kuangazia neno la moja. And that word is faith. Neno hilo ni imani. Faith. Imani. The just shall live by faith. Wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. And four times in the Bible it says the just shall live by faith. Na sehemu inne katika Biblia huzungumzia wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. So if you've been made just by the blood of Jesus, na kwa kila mmoja anaonja kwa damu ya Yesu. Then you are called to live by faith. Na hiyo itakusababisha kuishi kwa imani. And in the Hebrew, na katika Hebrewania, the word faith, neno imani, and in, in your language it's imani. Yes. That's very close to the Hebrew. Yeah. It was, it's very close to the Hebrew word. Yeah. Imani is faith in is this Swahili? Yeah. Imani is faith in Swahili, or you'll be interested to know that in the Hebrew it is emuna. Uh, in a Hebrew word, it means it's Amuna. Amuna. It's very close. <laughs> it's very close. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know this before today. <laughs> but your word for faith is very close to the Hebrew. <laughs> so, <laughs>
mum, now Aleph. And then we have Vav, the nail, the cross. Now to now Vav, Jomushumari. So God birthed the cross. That's a Munku. God birthed salvation. Munku and Aithia were both. And that's the first three letters Iyo. of the word faith. Iyo, Iyo, sayemu, tatu, yaneno, imani. So God, Aleph, Mem, Birth, Vav, Nail, Salvation. Iyo, yote, ni wokofu. Then we have the letter Nun. Kuna, Nava, Nun. And the number for Nun is 50. Na iyo, sayemu, ya iyo, nasi, ni hamsini. And 50 means Jubilee. Na hamsini inamanisha jubili. So new life breaks forth. Siyo chama ya Kenya. There is a jubili party in Kenya. I'm trying to tell them it's not the one. Yes. No, it's not the one. Yes. This is none. This is none. And the number is 50. Na sehemu ni hamsini. And it speaks of jubili. Na inasungumusia jubili. Yeah. 
kwamba imani inazungumzia mambo makubwa katika ndani ya Yesu na hiyo ndiyo inakuja kwetu kwa, kwa vishindo So when you step out in faith Unaposimama nje kwa imani God provides Mungu anaekeza So just as Jesus Uliza tu Yesu when he was feeding the the 5000 Alipokuwa analisha watu 1500 Na kijana mdogo akaja na samaki. He left it up to God and blessed it. Alinua hii samaki kwa Bwana. Then as his disciples went, na watu wa wafuasi wa Yesu distributed the food. Walipokuwa na peana vya kula. By faith. Eh, mtoto imani ya mtoto iliongezeka. Amen. Glory to God. Mungu. The just shall live Yeye akona watu zaidi ya 100 katika 
Karelia. And we have congregations throughout East and West Africa. Ako, e, e, katika Magalipi na Mashariki, Africa. And the Lord has also revealed to me Cairo to South Africa. Na hata buwana amefungulia munango wa Cairo na And we have people, people calling us from the Philippines. Na watu wana muita katika u Filipini. I'm from South America. Ah, kule Amerika ya Chini. So the river of love is flowing. Muto, muto, huduma wa muto unadiririka. But it is all by faith. Kwa sababu ya imani. Say, by faith. Nena kwa imani. By faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. Faith is the currency of heaven. Iyo ni ishara ya kiungu gina wajulia gubu zake. Right, how do you walk by faith? Unatembe ate kwa imani. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Proverbs ni mitani. Yes. And I'm going to show you how to walk by faith. And I end up mwenye shajizi ya kutembea na imani. And so if we're in Proverbs 4, 23. Ile ishirin na tatu. Keep your heart with all diligence. Linda mwenye wa. And today are the issues of life. Linda mwenye wa. Put away from you a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from you. Kinywa cha ukaidi ukitenge nawe na midomo ya ukotofu uiweke mbali na wewe. Let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before you. Macho yako yatasame mbili na kope zako sitasame mbili. Yako sawa sawa. Ponder the path of your feet. Angailia hiya sako na muku wako. And let all your ways be established. Na hata hiya sako sita nyoka. Turn not to the right nor to the left. Kusi angaike kushoto ama kulia. And remove your foot from evil. Na jiondoe katika uofu. So in other words, walk the right way. Kwa jia nyingine, tembea sawa sawa na mungu. So what is your heart? He, mwe wako ni nini? We're at school today. Tuko kwa shule leo. What is your heart? Mwe wako ni nini? What is your heart? Mwe wako ni nini? What? The friend of God. The heart is the friend of God. Your, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mwili wako ni zaemu ya roo mtakatifu. But your heart is your soul. Na mwili wako ni... Say, I am a spirit. Na ukisema ukiwa katika roo. I am a spirit. Uki, uki. I am a spirit. Sema. I am a spirit. Good. I have a soul. I have a soul. I have a soul. And I live in a physical body. So just as we have have a triune God. So we are tripartite beings. We are three in what? Tuko katika zemu tatu kwa moja. Amen. Amen. So what is your soul? So you are a spirit. When you got born again, it was your spirit that was born again. Unapo sariwa mara ingine ama puokoka, roe yako diyo ina ikizwa. As Jesus said, lest a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Kama yesa nasema, kama uwezi sariwa mara tena, uwezi uka inge katika ufano mingi. So I say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I have a soul. And your soul is your mind. My soul is a mind. Your will. And your emotions. Emotions. Your soul is your mind. Your will. Your will. And your emotions. 
emotions. emotions. That is not safe. Your soul is not saved. Nor is your body, your flesh. When you got born again, it was your spirit man that was recreated in Christ Jesus. Which is why we read in Philippians. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. That is not looking at your spirit. That is your soul. Which is why we see in Corinthians. And we look at Corinthians, second, second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 6. For the weapons <coughs> the weapons of our warfare. Second Corinthians four six. No, Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. Ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. Verse four. Ten. Verse four. Yes. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mana sila za fita yetu si zamwili bali zina uwezo katika mungu hata kuangushwa ngome. Tukiangusha mawazo ya kila kitu kilicho inuka kichiunukacho juu ya elimu ya mungu na kutukiteka nyara kila fikra ipate kumti kristu. This is where the devil fights. Hapo niyo shetani upikana pita. He fights in your mind. Ana pika pita mawazo yako. He puts thoughts into your mind. Anaingia katika mawazo yako. That's his battleground. Hiyo ndiyo sehemu ama wanja wa shetani. He will put thoughts of doubt and unbelief in your mind. Ata kuingiza shauku mingi katika mawazo yako. So with our airplane. Na katika deke zetu. He could try and put thoughts of doubt and unbelief in my mind and Bishop Samson. Anayumbisha sana ndeke zetu kwa mawazo yetu. You're never going to get that airplane. Uwezu kapata ndeke. Where will you find the money to get an Uta, airplane? Utapata pesa wapi ilu pande ndeke. How do you think God is going to give you an airplane? Ye, unaonaje mungu atakupatia ndeke. And then if we speak it. Na tunapondena. Oh, well, I don't think I'm ever going to get an airplane. Uh, oh, sitani kama tapata ndeke. I don't have the money. I don't know anybody that I can go begging for money. I don't know anybody that you want me to ask for a friend. That I can go and beg for money. I don't have the 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 money. Is not moved by need. Mungu asukumwe ama hafutiwi kwa maneno tu. He's moved by seed. Yeye usukumputwa kwa mbegu. So when God gives you a vision to do something, na Mungu anapokupatia mawazo ya kufanya kitu.
kitu. And you need faith to do it. Unahitaji imani kwa kufanya. Then you know you will have a battle with the devil. Na wewe utakuwa na kupitana na shetani. Cuz he will put doubt and unbelief in your mind. Na kwa sababu atakufanya ukose kuamini katika mawazo yako. He will put doubt and unbelief to those closest to you. Na atafanya wale walio karibu na wewe wakose kukuamini. You use 
kanisa. Which says that if you're a Christian, kama wewe mkristo mwenzangu, you must be poor. Lazima ukani. You must sell everything you've got. Ni unaweza sema uza ama siju kusema kila kitu ile umepata. Give it to the poor. Ili ukapeane maskini. And walk around in rags. Ili ukatembeka katika uwazi. With no money to for anything. And this is a stronghold of poverty. Because the devil knows that if you get hold of God's economic laws of prosperity, by faith you will begin to prosper. And have good success. Na hiyo hote ita ita barikiwa. And you will have wealth and riches in your house. Na ameweza kuleta utajiri nani ya nyumbazenu. You will be prosperous. Na wewe utabarikiwa. Because Jesus. Maana Yesu. Became poor. Alwezi akawajiria. Where? Where did Jesus become poor? Where at school? Where did Jesus become poor? Nowhere. Yes, he did. Oh dear. Kuna mali kwenye Yesu alikuwa maskini. Jesus became poor on the cross of Calvary. Yesu alikuja akawa maskini akiwa tu masalabani. That's where Jesus became poor. Hapo ndipo Yesu alikuwa maskini. Because in his life on this earth he would have been dressed in beautiful clothes. Because he was a rabbi. Which means a teacher of the law. And he would have had very fine clothes. And if you're coming to the conference over the next two days. So this is why 
That the area that the devil 